good evening everybody. You can hear the clock striking five o'clock. So, and we're on Wednesday evening once again. So I'm hoping to just share a thought with you today in preparation for a free day tomorrow. It has been a particularly interesting and busy week uh, since I last recorded a, a few thoughts with you. We have managed to start our journey in faith and that went, I think, quite beautifully yesterday evening, just the small group. Um, and we're looking forward to the development of the Alpha course in, in due course. Uh, in the meantime, this weekend we've got uh, something very different and I hope it's going to be a great stimulus for everybody where John Elcock is going to share some thoughts with us at, at the Masses in both the churches. And of course we've now um, underway with both our First Communion groups. They've had their dedication Masses and their first sessions and I've managed to go into the schools and share the first Freddie Freckles stories with them. But we've also had uh, a lot of sadness. We've had sickness uh, and death in both parishes. Um, and the, the intentions are building up in, in our diary. I just really tonight would like to ask you to remember in your prayers uh, a number of those people. Um, I've been asking for prayers for Jude, the young Nigerian father. He died uh, yesterday morning in, in the hospice. We're hoping to get his funeral reasonably quickly to help the family. And so I would ask you to pray for his wife, Teresa, and his two daughters. They're just 10 years and seven years old, bless them. Uh, so this is a traumatic time for them. This morning, we also had a sad occasion, the funeral of a little stillborn girl. Um, the family were just wonderful. I felt there was a great sense of love and support of the wider family, very small group, but there we were, um, and we just entrusted little Isabella Rita to the Lord, and uh, I'm confident that we got another little angel in heaven praying for us, and I have to say that uh, Dominique and Craig, her parents, were, were just wonderful this morning, um, and I thank them for their faith, their belief that we do have a little angel in heaven now, and, uh, and thank the family for loving support. Last Monday I had uh, quite a day. Um, I had decided that I'd heard that one of our very faithful parishioners was uh, close to death over there on the Wirral uh, that I wanted to nip across. It gave me a chance also to visit our own father Tony Hunt, um, who is, as you know, I think in Nazareth House, so I visited Tony. Um, we had a lovely chat. He's always very grateful for a visit. Um, and I invited him too. We, we a tradition in the community now because so many of our priests and brothers are elderly and struggling with health problems that uh, on the first Friday of the month we had an anointing during evening prayer so Tony misses out on that so I was able to share that with him on Monday. Um, but I also visited Christopher Almond and I heard just earlier today from Sarah his daughter that he has now died so it was a great privilege again to be able to pray with him and anoint him before his death and his daughter's immensely grateful, and they were there uh, for the occasion on Monday. And so thank you again for your good example. And as I think I mentioned to you, I also went, uh, visited uh, the previous week Les Scott, another great old friend of mine who's over there on the Wirral in a nursing home. I was also uh, able to visit Evelyn Whitehead, who happened to be in the room next door to Christopher, and she was really grateful for the visit and sends greetings to her friends in the parish um, so we also prayed and gave her the sacrament of the sick as well. So there we are. It was, it was quite a, a day on, on Monday. Um, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful to the Lord for being able to celebrate the sacraments um, in all sorts of different situations. But obviously at times of suffering and illness, um, it is a great privilege to be able to deepen our faith in the fact that the Lord is with us, sending his spirit to comfort and strengthen us. There are others in, in the parish I know who um, are suffering from long-term health problems. Um, and indeed it's interesting that a number of, of my old friends, as it were, um, are, are struggling these days. As I mentioned before, with Les Scott, for example, I go back to, uh, to those days in the 1970s in the vocations group. And so it's true at the moment of Irene McLeod, who is uh, struggling as well at the moment and uh, being supported, and I hope to get to visit her very soon as well, and uh, 
Christ the Lord's blessing on her and Rich. Um, so, alongside that, there are others in the parish. I would ask your prayers at the moment for um, our wonderful secretary, Anne, uh, Anne O'Neill up at St Mary's. Her sister has been struggling uh, with major health problems. Uh, she's come home now, but she's needing oxygen at home and uh, the family are supporting her. So I'd ask you to remember Kay, pray for her. Um, and of course there are many others. We see their names week by week sometimes, people who've been struggling with long-term health problems. So let's just thank God that we're here as a community of faith, that we are able to pray for one another, we are able to ask God's blessing on us and to keep us united uh, in the good times and in the difficult times. And of course we extend our prayer to the wider world. We see the, many of the leaders of the great nations at the moment um, struggling to find a way forward through the huge problems that are confronting humanity at the moment. We pray for, for wisdom there. We pray for an end to this war in Ukraine and that peace may reign and that we will find a better way forward. We have a God who suffered with us. I keep coming back to that and we simply have to turn to the cross every time we're in the midst of this and recognise that our sufferings can be united with Christ's sufferings. Uh, and then, of course, they become uh, part of the redemptive presence of Christ in our world. Now, we all have gifts, and we continue to try and build up our community. And so, as I say, this weekend, I'm looking forward to John Elcock sharing with us, um, as a member of our parish community, um, who is showing uh, a real um, imagination and concern for how we move forward and how we bring those gifts to the fore. So, Feel this is a very special day in the life of our parish. The following week we begin Advent and the Archbishop, I notice, has sent us a pastoral letter which we can share with you uh, on that Sunday. And our, son and our Christmas and Advent program is now finalised and that uh, hopefully will be published uh, for this weekend so you'll be able to see what's going to be available through the Advent season and over Christmas. And then um, we haven't actually got that sort of marketplace meeting together yet. I know we were at Sort of planning that and um, and Connor had been preparing that but I haven't forgotten that I just felt that other things have sort of almost overtaken me um, but I think they all fit into the jigsaw and, and we will find a way of making sure that all the different groups in the parish who need more support uh, have the opportunity to um, share that with those who have the gifts to be able to respond in the meantime let's thank God for all the good things for all the blessings and ask our Lord to deepen our faith in his abiding presence. I beg God's blessing, therefore, on our two parishes, on our schools, on all our homes, and on the community of the Redemptress here, because this week, Father Richard, our provincial, Richard Reed, came up. We had a meeting yesterday, he and Andrew and I, and we go down to London next week for another meeting on Wednesday. Originally, I thought that might be a day when I'd be able to go to a deanery conference, but anyway, the deanery conference is now on the Tuesday, so I can't go to it then. Um, and I'll be down in London on the Wednesday and then back on the Wednesday night because it's quite probable that Jude's funeral will now be on the Thursday. That's the latest information I've got. I hope I've remembered everything I wanted to share with you. If I have forgotten somebody who asked me uh, to especially mention them, forgive me, but a number of people have asked just to have their names in the book. Um, and so there they are. The Lord knows who you are. The Lord will bless you. May the Lord bless, protect and strengthen you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.